was a good burp. Say hi guys. I'm two weeks old. So Miss Adeline is two weeks and two days old today. She's probably gonna fall asleep in this video. She's getting tired. I was trying to get it done sooner so she could be awake during it, but it just didn't work out. So Miss Addie is two weeks and two days old today. I cannot believe it was already two weeks ago that I had her. It feels like it was yesterday. So things this week that I learned about Miss Addie, she's definitely starting to gain like her personality, I think. Overall, she is an extremely easygoing baby. She's just so, I mean, I don't wanna jinx myself, but she's really easy. As long as you feed her when she's hungry and you hold her once in a while, like she's pretty good. But when she is mad about something, she's pissed. She goes from zero to 100 in 0.2 seconds. She'll be perfectly fine in one second and the next second she'll be screaming her brains out. And I'm like, what happened? Like you were just fine. But overall, she is such an easy, easy, happy baby. And she smiles and I talked about this before, but I swear she smiles. Like I know that she's not supposed to be like technically smiling yet. Like it was probably just like a coincidence or gas or something, but she's so, Smiley and not just like the typical like when they're sleeping smiling she will be wide awake look you right in the eye and smile So I don't know. She's just a super smiley baby And I hope she stays that way like throughout her life She stays like a happy kid and a happy adult and stuff like that, but yeah, she's just so happy So I mean I don't have anything to complain about there. She sleeps so well at night and like oh my gosh I really don't want to jinx myself again. She is co-sleeping so she won't sleep at night She won't sleep anywhere else. She won't sleep in the swing She won't sleep in her little like rock and play thing. She won't sleep in her crib Obviously she just wants to sleep right next to me and honestly I am like so perfectly okay with that Landon still comes in our bed a lot of the time too So most days we'll wake up and we'll have two kids in our bed, but you know what? It's fine Like they're happy. I'm happy. That's all that matters and she sleeps so well in our bed like last night I got up two times twice that was it to feed her and she fell right back asleep I really hope that her good sleeping patterns like stay good I mean she's not sleeping through the night obviously yet but my kids normally don't sleep through the night until they're like two years old not two weeks old so I'm not expecting that anytime soon at all but the fact that she's only waking up twice a night to eat and then she goes right back to sleep really is just like amazing to me because none of my kids slept through the night at all early on. It took years for them to sleep through the night. She is still in size newborn um, diapers and in size newborn clothes. All my other kids seem to have grown out of newborn like almost immediately. It was like within a week that they were out of newborn. So, um, but she is definitely still in her newborn size clothing and her newborn size diapers. So I'm okay with that because we have a ton of newborn outfits and a ton of newborn diapers that need to get used. So she's officially worn all all of her newborn outfits once so I'm at least okay with that at least she got through them all because when I bought all those newborn outfits I was like she's never gonna wear these it's not gonna happen I do not know exactly how much she weighs I did buy a baby scale and it was supposed to be here on Monday when she turned two weeks old but for some reason it was delayed and I'm still upset about it it's kind of why I was waiting to do this video because I wanted to know exactly how much she weighed as soon as I get that baby scale I will post somewhere about how much she weighs since she already passed her birth weight at her one week appointment we didn't schedule a two week appointment because that's really the only reason to is to make sure that she's gaining weight and she obviously is <laughs> she already was past her birth weight at one week old so she does not like the swing at all she wants nothing to do with it we went shopping for a swing after she was born i was hoping that she was gonna like it but she doesn't care for it at all there will be times where she will sleep in it but she's not like dependent on it and she definitely doesn't care for it that much same thing goes for the passy she wants nothing to do with the passy we have used it before and she will take it like if we put it in her mouth she'll take it but she just doesn't care for it she doesn't need it so i don't think we've given it to her since like her newborn photo shoot we used it in her newborn photo shoot and that was probably the last time that we've used it so she does comfort nurse a little bit, I've noticed, like to fall asleep. But for the most part, she just like wants to be held. And that's like the main thing. Like she just wants to be held all the time. So I mean, if you can get past that, which I don't mind, I'm perfectly fine with holding her all day. I love just holding her and staring at her. And I'm so used to having kids in my arms anyway. So it's like I can get three kids dressed and hold a newborn at the same time. It's no big deal. She is getting so good with her head control, especially these past couple days. I will like hold her up and if I put her like up on my shoulder and she'll just look around so happily. And she still has like a little bit of a bobble head. So she'll go like this. 
She'll look around. I probably look so ridiculous. She's just such a happy baby. Like, I don't know. I just can't get over how much of a happy baby she is. When she does sleep, she, and I mentioned this last week, she loves to sleep on her stomach and it scares me. But she is just like, I will put her to sleep on her back in bed with me and she will roll over herself and end up on her stomach somehow. I don't know. I don't know how. And if she's not on her stomach, she's at least on her side. A lot of times she'll have her butt up in the air. So she'll be like on her stomach with her butt up like this. So I don't know. That's just what she likes. Her cord fell off at 10 days old, so it was on Thanksgiving. So it was actually the day after I made my last, her one week update. I knew it was gonna fall off soon, and sure enough, overnight it fell off, and it was like, we like opened up her sleeper and went to change her diaper, and we were like, where did her cord go? And it ended up being like in the back of her sleeper. It was really gross, but <laughs> that fell off, which means we gave her her first bath. If you guys just watched my last video, I'll post a link down below if you haven't seen my last video, or I'll post something right here. You click that. Click me. And we gave her her first bath and she didn't care for it. She was tired though. She had already been awake for like, I don't know, 45 minutes. And that's like a long time for her. She's usually not awake longer than like an hour at a time. So she was tired. And then at the end of it, at the end of her bath, she was starting to actually like it a little bit. So we'll probably give her one today and see if she likes that bath tonight. But she definitely didn't love it. I remember Landon, when I gave him his first bath, he loved it. But she doesn't like to be naked and she likes to be swaddled. She wants to be like, like super tight all the time. So those two combined, I think it's just like overwhelming for her. She doesn't like the feeling of being like open and like not all tightly swaddled. So we'll see, maybe as time goes on, she'll like the bath more. People are always asking and they're trying to tell like in pictures and stuff what her eye color is and what her hair color is. And it, her eyes are like a dark, dark blue right now. But I have noticed, it seems like every day they start, they're starting to lighten up. So. I'm kind of assuming that they'll be blue because Chris has blue eyes and I have blue eyes, but I know that that's not 100%. There's still a tiny chance she can have brown eyes, I think, and there's a chance she can have green eyes. So I'm kind of, I'm thinking that they'll probably stay blue, but we'll see. They're really dark right now. Her hair is definitely red. I feel like every day it gets more red. So I don't know if it's gonna like fall out and turn a different color, but when I was born, I had bright red hair and it never changed. So we'll see if it stays, but like I mentioned in her last update video, it's very blonde on the top and then on the back is where you can see all the red hair. Different lighting, it looks very different and in pictures it is so hard to get an accurate like picture of what her hair color looks like in person. I try so hard to get pictures of what it actually looks like and same with her eyes too but like every time I take a picture I swear it looks different than it does in person so. I think that is pretty much it for her update. As for me postpartum, not much has changed since last week. I just feel better by the day. Like I am just so happy to not be pregnant. It sounds bad, but I was so miserable. I was so miserable at the end of my pregnancy that even the day I had her and like the day after I had her, I felt better than I did at the end of my pregnancy with her. Like it was that bad. Like just having a baby and having arms shoved up inside of me, I felt better that day than I did like the day before being extremely pregnant. So that's how miserable I was. And every day I just feel so much better. I just feel so much more like myself. I feel happier. Not that I wasn't happy when I was pregnant, but I was just, again, so miserable. I'm just so happy that she's here and not inside of me anymore And I told my midwife at my last appointment that I had with her I told her I am so excited to never be pregnant again. <laughs> like I'm sorry. I just am I did my time I would absolutely a hundred percent do it a million times over to get the children that I have now But just the fact that I don't have to just makes me really really happy. <laughs> Look at this sweet sleeping face Hi so other than that, I've had a lot of people asking me about my varicose veins and I totally forgot to update this in my last video, but I will put a link down below or you can click right here, the video where I was talking about my pregnancy update about how terrible my varicose veins were and I showed you a picture of them and it was just horrendous. They hurt, they were like achy, they were ugly. Since I had her, it seems like every single day they're getting better. And now at this point, they are practically gone. Like I still have my spider veins in the back of my leg, which is a little bit different than varicose veins. Oh my goodness. But the varicose veins are like 90% gone. It is so much better. It's amazing how much your body changes when you're pregnant and how fast it goes back after you're not pregnant anymore. So I'm definitely grateful for that. I'm just feeling so much better and I'm not feeling like swollen anymore when I wake up in the morning. So I'm just, I cannot tell you guys how great I'm feeling now compared to when I was pregnant with her. You messed me up. You know that? You really messed me up. 
So I think that is actually it for this video, guys. I can't think of anything else to update on. Let me know if I missed anything, and I'll answer them in the comments below or in my next video. And I guess I'll show you guys my two-week postpartum belly after five kids. But first, let's look at that sweet face. Look at that sweet face. Sweet, sleepy face. So here is with the shirt on. Let me see. And here is with the shirt up. And I have those marks from my wrap that I wear all the time. And I'm still wearing, as you can see, my maternity jeans because frankly, they're just really comfortable. So this, two weeks postpartum, after baby number five. You gonna say hi, pretty girl? Say hi. I'm awake now. Oh. <laughs> So that is it for this week's update video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram. I'll post those links down below. Other than that, we will talk to you guys for our next video. Bye. <laughs> what happened to Carl? It's bigger than you are. Smile. She ate